strong, like a cup of dark coffee. Okay, guys, you can stop flexing your muscles now. This is Family Life Mornings. When you're working, uh, and I can't imagine many people in the Family Life uh, listening area having a 90-minute commute each way to work. Oh, that's a long drive. That's a long, long drive. I've never had to do that or anything close to that. But that is a growing number of people in the United States, and they're called super commuters. Yeah, they drive 90, (laughs) or drive or take a, you know, whatever, maybe public transportation. Maybe they walk. Yeah, whatever. (laughs) That's true. That would take, but 90 minutes each way, uh, grown by 30 percent. Now, they're more in places like New York City and San Francisco and, yeah. and places that are more widespread out and that kind of thing. I thought the group that would grow fastest would be a group that a friend of mine who's now retired, but the last five years or so of his working life, he was a uh, consultant, so he worked from home. And he would be emailing this group of friends and I, and, and he'd say, Well, I got to go to work now. He goes, I got to move my chair about 30 <laughs> degrees to the right. left and go from one computer to his work computer. Now, he didn't have a name for that, but I would like to call them like the swivel commuters. Yeah. <laughs> you know, from one to the other. Right. A lot better than 90 minutes each way. Here, I'll be at work in just a second. <laughs> right. Family Life Mornings. Starting your day off with a smile. You might not be able to get it off your face for the rest of the day. Family Life. Jenny the Duck was having problems waddling. <laughs> <laughs> Because, uh, I'm serious. This is a serious Family. thing. Oh, sorry. Sh- it's a serious story. Okay. Because her <clears throat> legs were <throat> turned inward when she walked. It's a condition. Oh. It's a condition known as bumblefoot. Hmm. Well, Doctor, you're Quillen, making it very hard not to laugh. <laughs> yeah, it's a very serious story, and it's all funny. Jenny the duck has bumblefoot. Okay, okay. All right, got it. <laughs> Doctor Quillen, whose first name is Matt decided to get some mats, some kitchen mats, Mm -hmm. and he made Jenny the Duck a pair of custom orthopedic shoes. Now, Matt Matt said Crocs are his shoes of choice. Yeah. Uh So he put Jenny the Duck in some quacks. 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 Mm-hmm. Waiting for a children's book to come out. It just <laughs> seems like it's a big children's book. Family Life Mornings, a place where everybody knows your name. Who are we kidding? It's so early, we don't even know our names. This is Family Life. It's Labor Day, and if this was Christmas Day, we you know, Christmas music you hear a lot. Yes. Sure. It's July 4th, you'd probably hear some mm-hmm. patriotic music. Yep. Right. Jenny. So yeah. here it is, Labor Day, and we're going to play our famous Labor Day. So wait, we don't have any. <laughs> I was going to say, uh, what, are, what are you going to play? I don't think there's any Labor Day music. I, I play. think you might be wrong, Steve. I hope, I hope, it's <laughs> Everybody, yeah. I hope. Make sure you wake up early so you don't miss a thing. Family Life Mornings. Trying to come up with a name for the 2020 Mars rover. NASA having a contest. Kids K through 12, but that's okay. We're all kids at heart. Trying to come up with some uh, Todd in Elamsport said the Martian Mobile. That's I like that. Nice. That's kind of good. Mm-hmm. Gary in Titusville has Uber Mars or Mars Lift. That's kind of neat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ride. I had another one about the Milky Way taxi. That's kind of a neat <laughs> one. Fun. And and since Mars is planet number four uh-huh. in line, someone had the idea of four D, like Ford. Right. Ford. You get it? You know. That's, oh, oh, wait a minute. Here's one. Creative. I got a note. Got a written handwritten note here from a Randy at Family Life. <laughs> oh, go, ahead. go ahead, Randy. What do you have to say? How about because Mars is the red planet, uh-huh. Red Rover. Oh, Red Rover. Send Red NASA Rover. right over. <laughs> Family Life Mornings with Steve, Therese, and Randy. Thanks for making us part of your day. We're a friend you can turn to. Pictures from the Bahamas, just devastating. Mm-hmm. Uh, it looks like war zone down there. By the way, if you want to uh, contribute and uh, want to know where to put those money, FLN.org. We have a place on the website. But can you imagine just being down in that area, starting to get toward Florida now? A little yeah. Bit, in, in that area, anyway. Yeah. Meanwhile, Shanna dropped off her firstborn at college at Embry-Riddle, and then, well, then Dorian came. His first week of college, they found out uh, the Thursday of his first week that they had to evacuate the campus. Hmm. So my son, who is in the ROTC Air Force there and studying to be an engineering physics major, um, miles from home, doesn't know anybody, finds out he needs to be out of the college by Saturday at 5 p.m., and he can't return until this Sunday after 5 p.m. 
here I am, a mama at home, sending her first son off to college, and he gets in the middle of a hurricane, <laughs> and uh, we were lost. We were lost, but got him evacuated, got him a place to stay, and he's now safe in Tampa, but still away from us. I have such a sense of peace with all of this because I'm a believer, because Jesus is you know, the the calmer of all storms. And um, I'm as I'm hyperventilating, I flip to Charles Stanley, and his Bible study is Facing Life Storms, and it talks about Jesus calming the waves and providing safe haven. And I listen to you guys and the encouragement that you guys give every day to me, listening to God's music. And I just wanted to say thank you. And I know that your prayers are heard. Start your day with three good eggs who go over easy. It's Steve, Therese, and Randy on Family Life, a friend you can turn to. Well, you've heard Focus on the Family on Family Life, and they have a lot of different things. They do kids programming and things like that, but they have this visitor center in Colorado Springs, Colorado, and they have this huge... Uh, they call it the Abendigo slide. It's three stories tall, and they've got you know different kids areas. But they have a a mailbox where kids write prayer requests, and they leave them in the mailbox. And then the focus on the family team prays. Mm-hmm. But they've published some of those prayers, and wow. Okay, Sarah says, "Pre, please pray for me to have a good education and a good life because I'm only eight, so I'm just getting started." That's right. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's like you're oh, honest, I right? Oh, I love the foresight. That's yeah, right. Exactly. When I'm prayer going forward, smart. Susie is twelve. She says she wants prayer for her dad to go to church and become a Christian again. Mm-hmm. Wow, a lot of kids mm-hmm. uh, feel that. And then there's Robbie. His letter says. My mom and dad left me home alone for five days, and now I'm in a foster home. My foster mom brought me here. My parents are still gone with my two younger brothers, Mm. and I am 12, and I miss them. Thanks for making us a part of your day. We're a friend you can turn to. Family life. Randy's been talking about purposeful design flaws. I'm wondering what he's going to bring up, Steve and Therese. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, right. you were on the list, but I had to narrow uh-huh. it down. and so. <laughs> but God still uses all of us. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Hey, you ever play with a headrest uh, on a car, oh, the, yes, the car seat? Yes, down. Right. I never get and, in the right spot. And, right. and sometimes yeah. they come off. Right. In fact, if you, yeah, you if do. you yep. some of them have a button that you can click, and they come up. That is not a design flaw. Can I, get, I remember guess? when I was a kid and uh-huh. I pulled one off. I thought, oh uh, no, I, uh, I think I broke it, it, but I put it back on. But they come off for a reason. Is it so that if your car is ever submerged in water, you can use it to break the window? Yes. Look at yeah. it! Yes. Wow. I've watched it's, a lot it, of good not movies. Not just water. If you're uh-huh. stuck in the car. Uh-huh. They were designed so they could come off, and you can use those metal the prongs. Pearls, yeah, the prongs. That's, I, to sh- that. That's I know, great. I know. I thought, wow, wow it's good to know. Well, Therese, you're not as flawed as you thought. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're friends because we're already on a first name basis. It's Family Life Mornings with Steve, Therese, and Randy from Family Life, a friend you can turn to. Dating though has gotten to be so hard. First, you have to find the right person, and you have to decide where to go, and then you have to pay the bill, and that bill just keeps going up, up, up. In mm. fact, they did a study of the average cost of dinner and a movie out. Uh, national average is about 100 bucks. So for a oh. night out with someone who you don't even know if you're going to like that long, it's going to cost you mm. 100 bucks. Now, the good news is there are still places where you can get a cheap date. Like that average drops in South Dakota where it's about $40 for dinner and a movie. So good news, honey. We can go out. Bad news. <laughs> We gotta go to South Dakota. It's gonna take a long drive and a lot of gas money. <laughs> a new day. Full of new promise. Thanks for letting us be a part of it. Family Life Mornings. Have you ever been in a meeting that's like going on forever? And you're like, are we ever gonna get out of this meeting? Do I have to admit to that? <laughs> only you can I think do you or just let us know, Steve. <laughs> say something that would Make it wrap up uh-huh. a little bit faster. Yeah. Well, there's a few questions that you can ask. As soon as somebody brings up a project, you know, something that needs to be done. Oh, let me write these down. Hold on a second. Uh-huh. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. What Go do ahead. we do now? Oh. Who will do it? And what's the deadline? Oh. Okay. So what do we do now? Like, oh. come on, let's get to the action. Oh. 
who's going to do it, which, you know, who's volunteering, and what is the deadline? How fast do we have to get this done? So one of two things will happen. Either yeah. people will say, okay, I'll do it, and this is how it's going to go, boom, meeting done, and everybody leaves, or everybody's going to be so focused on trying to not be the person that has to do the work that they're going to be right. like, yeah, so I got to get back to my desk now. Something like that will happen. Oh, okay, yeah. well, it's not, it's not, mine doesn't work as well. Mine's a, when do we eat? <laughs> <laughs> that also works. When's lunch? Heard. Who made the food? <laughs> Celebrating God's goodness and having a little fun along the way. It's Steve, Therese, and Randy on Family Life, a friend you can turn to. You know, we're not to be judgmental, but in a very weak moment, the very first time I saw a smart car. (laughs) (laughs) You You can't help it. I couldn't help it. Now, to be fair to the smart car, I've been in one, and they're actually kind of, they're very roomy. There's lots of room for two people. Okay, so uh, this is not a commercial for a smart car. However, Patrick Patrick and Jessica Eldridge live in Jacksonville, and Patrick kind of maybe got the last laugh on me because they have two cars. They're a two-car family, uh, only one-car garage. So with impending Dorian coming several days ago, right. uh, Jessica's car was in the garage, and Patrick's like, hmm, what do I do? Because, I mean, the storm's coming. you got to put it somewhere. Yeah. It's a little so, car. Yeah. So he did the next best thing. He, he drove it into his kitchen <laughs> <laughs> and parked it in his kitchen, and it fit. I mean, it was a good oh, wow. I had to, like, move the table and open the French doors in the dining room, right, but yeah, there but it was. They, they got it. Uh-huh. I hope Patrick didn't do what I would be tempted to do. I'd jump in the front seat, beat the horn, and go, hey, I ordered burger and fries. Where's my Aww. food? And then my wife no. would look at me. <laughs> They're here to infuse your morning. With a positive outlook and a little caffeinated fun. It's Steve, Teresa, and Randy on Family Life, a friend you can turn to.